Sometimes, death is all you can see. It's all around you. It consumes you. No. Oh no! They're all dead! They're all dead, Sarge! So you have to look it in the eye. If something happens to me, promise me a look for Maria. And bare your teeth. <laughs> Studios and the tutorial of the little clip you watched then is about how to make recorders and outlinings around your videos. And here we have a Gears or 2 um, player. So, what you're going to do is go on to uh, Sony, F Sony FX and you'll go on Square Cutter Whiteboard. Whiteboard. So, you're going to drag that not onto the clip but on the track. So, there we go. And then you want to put the repeat X 10. And then the size, you want to keep increasing that until it hits the edge of your video. So I don't want that big, junky light button, so I'm just going to decrease the border a bit. So uh, there we go, that's about right. I want it thin, nice and thin, and then you want to see, oh, see that's too much, so you don't want to do that, that's like cutting out a video, you want to just do it to just the end of the video. So I'll just do it there, and I'll put the feather a bit, so you get sort of a decent fit. Now we've done that, um, you're thinking, hey, well, what were the black bits? So, okay, you can do this with a picture or the gradient, but I'm going to show you the picture of this. So, let me just import the picture, there we go. And put, oh, the picture has to be underneath the clip, not above, underneath. So, you want to drag this over to this. There we go, and then switch it. And there you go, see, you have a cool line outside. That looks pretty good. No, or you could just have a full black black one back. Or you know you could put your own picture, make picture on Photoshop and put that there. Now the gradient one is um, pretty cool. So you just want to go media generators and you want to go on for the gradient. So I'm just gonna go for um I'm gonna go for the red background one, so I'll just put that there. Uh, I'm gonna make it so I don't know, the so the bluey purple, bluey purple. So. Now we've done that, you want to stress this all the way across. And you want to change from composite mode to darken. So you can see it's a lot changed, but don't worry about that because you can always change the gradient. So. And then drag that down like that, so you can see now. Video, you can also change these, so I would recommend changing them. I mean, they go like that, see? Um, yeah, so that's no way to get gradients. You don't have to use a picture, so I could just like delete this and then be all white. But I mean, you know, that's two that's two ways of doing it. So, there you go, there's no tutorial for you. And if you don't, if you want to do any other way of borders and backgrounds on this type of thing, then just tell me, and then I'll make another one or a different tutorial. But I mean, or you could, you know, you keep it all black, but then you just put a, you know, something like this, uh, just in text, and it's just to mix up a bit. So, just get your text all. Like most people do in their videos for like animate montages just like that. They wanna keep their name in there or someone that's helping you make the montage, so just reduce that. Then you replacement. And obviously you're gonna place the You wanna place the main near the bottom if that's where you're if that's where your that's where your border is. So there you go. And then you have the little studio there, so 
And that's how to make different types of backgrounds around it. I mean, just using a little white line, that's pretty cool. That's pretty decent as well. And you can always change the color of the white line as well. So I hope that's helped you, Sniper. I got a request for this tutorial. So I hope this has helped you. And if it hasn't, please tell me why. I would also like to say, if you want your background, I'm sorry, if you want your background, uh, you must send me a message again because I take them all. Yeah, I'm really tired. If you do, call me names. Ah, whatever. Um, but you must just send me a message saying, "Oh, I want a card for with this, this, and this, and it's for YouTube or it's for my PC." There's no point just telling me you want a you want a, you want a picture. You gotta tell me if, what you'd like in it and stuff like that, and then just add me on MSN email or aim, and then tell me about it to me and tell me your email and say I've added you. Can send me over MSN, and if it if it's broken or something, I will email it to you. So please, if you send if you send a, a request for the background in the last um, week, do it again. Cause I delete them because some of them were just silly. Like, oh, put me back on. I was asking why. Well, okay, what do you want it? And then they just say, oh, can't call. And I didn't say. So please tell me if it's for YouTube or if it's for a, your PC or something, or even both. And just tell me what you're liking it, like a game or just some cool design and ready type of stuff. So this is me. Thank you from Studios and. See you again.